In this episode of Automower Answers, we're going to look at the Automower Connect Upgrade Kit. Now, this is something that a lot of people, uh, they will buy and they will try to install it themselves and they run into some problems later on. And we're going to try to help eliminate that and explain what needs to be done in order to install one of these Connect Kits or to upgrade your existing Connect Kit. The kit that we're working with today is part number 586663-05. That dash 05 is very important because this is the newest kit available. Right now, um, this is being filmed on September 16th, 2018. This is the new 3G Connect Kit from Husqvarna. The previous kit, which was 2G, and was used as an upgrade for the, the old 430X, the 315s, and models like that. That had the same part number except for the very end. It was a dash 04. So if you need to upgrade or you're looking to you know, add this to your, your new automower or you have an older 430X or something like that, this is the kit that you're going to want. The 586663-05. Automower Connect Kit. So what we're doing here is we're upgrading a 430X to the new 3G board. So we removed the old 2G board and all we got to do is plug in the new board. We plug in the ribbon cable here. We'll flip the board over and the board mounts into the 450 or 430X uh, body by the four holes there that form a square on the board. So it's pretty simple. I mean, if you're removing the old board, just bolt the new one in right there in place of the old one. So this is what the Connect board looks like fastened into a 430X or 450X automower. It is right there by the back side of the display screen. It goes into the upper chassis. And you can see right there it uses the four screws to make a square. Really simple. Like I said, if you pull an old one out, it's even easier, you know where it's going, but if you have an older model 430X and you're just putting this in for the first time, this is where you will mount the board at. And this is the mounting configuration for a 315X, a 315, a 310. You know, the older model 315X mowers, they did not come with the connect board already installed, so you have to install it yourself. Or if you're going to upgrade a new 315X that already came with the connect board, and you're upgrading from 2G to 3G, this is the board you want to replace. And you can see how this mounts in there. It uses the slotted hole, and then it uses the hole in between the other two holes it would use for a 430X or a 450X. And you can see here on the 300 series automowers, the connect board fastens in off to the side a bit. So you remove the upper chassis, you flip it over, and it mounts in kind of off to the side of your the back of your display screen and the circuit boards and everything that you have on the back of the display and that is the display you can see kind of peeking through there in the center so this is the main reason why we decided to make this video right here we have the old 2g board and we have a new 3g connect board can you tell the difference now the reason we're going to point out these differences is because sooner or later somebody's going to going to wonder what board they have in their mower as warranties start to expire and people start to break these things open and tinker with them themselves, they're not going to know what's in there or what they're looking at, what the difference is. And, you know, with the way the Internet is, sooner or later somebody's going to be selling these old 2G boards and advertising them as 3G boards, or there's just going to be dealers that don't know what the hell they're doing and, you know, trying to pass these off as 3G boards and not know the difference. So, aside from the part number difference that we gave you at the beginning of this video, one major difference here is the fact that the new 3G board does not come with an actual SIM card inserted into the SIM card slot. You can see the 2G board has the white SIM card inserted into the black SIM card holder. The new 3G board does not have an actual removable SIM card. It is actually built into the board. So right there is a big giveaway. The other is, currently, the new board does not have this black plug right here on it. Now, you can see between these two boards, yeah, there's a slot in the new 3G board, and there's not in this old board. That's because this board was one of the older Connect boards. 
and it wasn't made to actually work in the 315s. They changed that later on. They added that slot and that extra mounting hole for the 315 mowers. So any of the 2G boards that were made after this one, they would have had those holes in there. So you cannot go by those holes and think, oh, I've got a 3G board because of these holes. What you want to look for is that SIM card and that black plug. So now we've shown you how and where to install these boards and the differences between the 2G and the 3G. But here's the important part that you need to know. Just because you order one of these kits and somebody will ship it to you, you can't just go installing it yourself at home. Here's what's going to happen. You're going to have to split this automower open. You're going to have to peel off your warranty label. And this is what you're going to find. It is going to say void all over it, meaning your warranty is now void because they will know that you split this machine open. If you're out of warranty and you want to stick this in there, go for it. But the problem with that is even if you peel that off because you're out of warranty and you split this mower open and you put this automower connect kit in there all by yourself and you do this at home and you're not an authorized dealer, it's not going to work very well for you. It might work for a few days or a few hours, or it might not even start to work at all. Because once this is installed, you will need to plug the mower into a computer. You will need to use the Auto Check 3 program, and you will need to update the firmware to be able to make the new Connect board work with the mower. So now don't shoot the messenger here. We're just trying to save you guys the headache and the time. If you want to install this, or you want this installed in your mower, I should say, or your mower is in need of being upgraded, you're going to have to contact a dealer. If there are no dealers in your immediate area, there are plenty of them out there that you can ship the mower to, you can you know, drive the extra distance, whatever, to drop it off there, or call ahead. Maybe they can do it while you wait. There are quite a few dealers out there who are willing to work with you, if you are patient with them, they will be patient with you. They understand that there is still a shortage of qualified and experienced automower technicians out there. So contact whoever you can, whether it's your sales rep or an automower dealer, wherever the closest one is, just contact them and talk to them before you just start flipping out online, going on and on and on about how you can't get any support and it's bullshit, you can't do this at home and you can't do this yourself and things like that. You're watching this video, so if your dealer hasn't explained to you already, now you know that this is going to be the case. So if you buy a kit and you can't install it, you are already warned. You only have yourself to blame. Make sure to make these arrangements before you buy one of these kits. And I say that because if you buy one of these online and then you go to your dealer and you say, I bought this kit online from somebody else and I need it installed, they're probably not going to be as anxious and eager to work with you. But now if you go to them and say, hey, look, I want the 3G board installed in my auto mower. I have a 2G in here now. I want the upgrade. They're going to be more willing to work with you. That's just something to keep in mind before you go start shopping Amazon, looking for the best deal you can, and you'll order the thing, get it from them, and you'll get no support whatsoever from the people you bought it from, and then you have to go crawling to the dealer, and you're going to want to flip out on the dealer because what you got off of Amazon isn't the right thing. Put yourself in the dealer's shoes, you know? This comes down to you have a product, you want something done with that product, go to the dealer, Simple as that. So we're getting ready to head into fall and winter is going to be coming up. This is the best time to get something like this done. You're not going to be needing the mower for at least a few weeks or a few months, whatever. You can set this up if you have to travel, you know, an extended period to get your, your mower worked on because there's no automower dealers near you. This is the time to do this. You can drop it off or ship it to them. Or another thing you could do is go into your local authorized Husqvarna dealer, say, hey, I've got this auto mower. I would like to have service on this thing somewhere closer to home. Can you please think about becoming an auto mower dealer? Then they can jump on board. They can go to the trainings. They can get educated in this and they can start to provide you a service. They can branch out. They can start selling these things and, you know, start increasing their business. 
There's plenty of opportunity there. A lot of times dealers will not get involved with stuff like this because they think there's not going to be any kind of demand for it in their area. If you go in there and supply them with a demand, then they've got one less reason to avoid this. They've got one more way that they can make money. They've got one more way that they can adapt to the new technology and keep their business growing. So as always, hopefully we were able to provide you with some knowledge here to help save you some time, save you some money, help you understand a little bit better how things work and how to approach them. You know, we don't want to see you guys wasting your time and wasting your money. And we don't want to see you creating, you know, rift between you and your dealer because you didn't realize this is how this worked. So keep checking back. We're going to be putting out more and more videos as you guys ask questions. The more questions we get, you know, the more of these we'll make and the more we can explain to more people. So thanks for watching and we'll be talking to you soon.